Tuesday morning. I am very hungry this morning because I didn't really have dinner last night. I'm about ready to go paint. I think it's almost 11 now. Um, I had some errands run and a meeting that I had to go to. So just now eating, I'm going to make myself an omelet with mushrooms, bell pepper, Canadian bacon, onions, and basil from our basil plant over there. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm probably going to have a couple pieces of the keto bread toast with butter on it. Just have a really hearty breakfast so I can get back down to my painting. So I ended up making an omelet for Tim and Henry with the stuff that I had cut up on the plate. So this is mine. I had to get another little bit of a mushroom to make enough for me, but this is what mine looks like. Super beautiful. And it's going to be super filling. And my toast just popped. Um, it's, I got an onion mess over here, but it's doesn't break away very well with the um, freezer, so I have bits. So I'm going to just get that a little hot from it and then put butter on it. Okay, there's my toast. Oh shoot, my uh, omelet's falling apart. I might have to pause this to get it in my plate. Okay, here we go. This is breakfast. Let's get the light on it a little better. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to eat real quick and then go paint. It's true. Yeah, look at that. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, so I ate the, well, it's kind of like a little more than one piece with my um, omelet and the keto bread. And then I saved my last piece that was a normal whole piece, and I went ahead and added peanut butter on it because this is my favorite way to eat keto bread. Having it toasted with butter is fine. The, the grilled cheese sandwich was fine, but this is the best disguise and the best way to have it. So if you're going to be doing dirty keto, you might as well put a little peanut butter on it. It's cage cleaning day. Stanley and Celeste and Pip are in the pool waiting to get back into their cage. Cutesy wootsies. I totally forgot to say yesterday, I think, on video that I also had a um, Gatorade Zero um, to drink and I'm actually going to have one now while I paint as well. So I just thought I would document that. I can't remember if I videoed this last night or not. But this is how far I got last night. And we are going to be replacing the window wells because I think they're original to the house and this house was built in 1971. And they're like rotten. So yeah, we'll be digging those out and putting in new window wells as well. So we're doing lots of projects. Okay, Claire made these gummies today. I know they have like, is it raspberries, guys? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. raspberries, gelatin, powdered erythritol. It has strawberries. It has strawberries and blackberries. Oh, okay. So it's a mixed berry one. Uh, I'm gonna try one of these. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I'm not a huge gummy person. Sorry, I paint all over my face. But those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. If you like gummies, you should try them all. Find out from Claire where she got the recipe from, but I think. I want to say it's Keto Connect. Yeah. No, it's not Keto Connect? It's Wholesome it's Yummy. Right? Oh, Wholesome Yums. Wholesome Yums. And yeah, I'm painting the ceiling, so again, paint all over the face. But I came to the fridge to get a little snack as a break for a break. So I have two fat bombs, the slim fast ones. Um, let's see if I can open these with one hand. No, I can't. So I'm gonna have a peanut butter one. These are pretty good, and the caramel ones are my favorite. So ah, I'm gonna have both those. Well, I don't think I'll have them exactly right now. I'll have one of them, and I'm gonna bring the other one down with me back to the basement and. Eat it when I get hungry. Thanks, Oscar. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling very discouraged because I feel like so the baseboard is two shades darker than the wall, and it so it, it should be obvious, right? <laughs> and I feel like it's not. Let's um, see if you can tell on the there the window trim up there, right there has a little bit. I guess it's a little bit darker, but I was hoping for a way darker, so I'm disappointed. Anyway. I'm also feeling hungry, so I'm going to eat some of Claire's 
little gummy thing. So I'll probably have three of them. Well, I've got the first coat on the baseboards and stuff. And I guess it looks a little bit better. But I just was thinking it would be darker than that. But oh well. Okay, so I have the first coat of all the trim done. It definitely is going to need two coats and potentially three. You may not even be able to tell. Okay, I know this is a keto channel, but I'm going to tell you this tip anyways. When you're painting uh, baseboards, stick uh, just one of those wooden dowels that you get from the paint store. Just stick it under the baseboard between the baseboard and the um, carpet and then you can paint and then just slide it along and it uh, makes for a nice smooth thing and then your carpet's protected. Okay, so I have the second coat down on the baseboards and baseboard heater thingy and I'm about ready to do the second coat on the windows. It's taking forever and I'm so tired. My back is killing me. Super sore. But it is looking better. I have to say it's there's definitely a contrast now. It may be hard to tell in the video, but I'm relieved. I am so hungry. Uh, so I got some chicken wings. I haven't had chicken wings in a bit because of our trip. Uh, oh, this, I guess this is a new Parmesan. But anyways, it's just, I don't know, seven wings. Homemade ranch. And I'm going to put a little bit of this guy on it. Okay, now my meal is complete with the Parmesan. I'm looking forward to this because... I love wings, and wings are not something I eat on a trip because buying them is too expensive, and I don't usually have access to cooking while we're out of town too much. So, um, I'm going to probably finish the rest of the trim and stuff after I eat, and it's about 7.30ish, 7.40 maybe, so... This will probably be the end of the day for me because I don't plan on eating anything else. I'll I might have more um, Gatorade Zero or like a fizzy water, but um, even though I'm really hungry, I know the wings will fill me up. Let's move over this way. Um, <clears throat> our house is such a mess because we have things moved all over from the basement and we're trying to clean out our garage and shed at the same time. We just have several projects going at once. So our house is just a mess and it's kind of driving me nuts. But um, these are all good things. Couch, yeah, we have a we got a new to us couch. I can show it to you. Actually, I will. I'll just show it to you. So this is new to us. It's an old couch. I can't remember when Tim said it was made, but I guess the people who he bought it from had it custom made. It needs some trimming down on the bottom of the the stuff underneath is fraying, and it needs to be washed really well. But as you can see, everywhere is a mess to make room for all of our projects. And I don't like this because I'm a very tidy, clean, organized person, so this is kind of driving me nuts. But anyways, you know, sometimes you have to deal with this sort of stuff. All right, I'm going to eat, so I will see you later.